Greetings ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, today we're discussing the quest and loot associated with the Scarlet Monastery Armory, the third instance which belongs to the Scarlet Crusade. Here's a quick refresher for everyone, the Armory has mobs ranged from levels 35 to 38, and its one and only boss is the reigning champ himself, Herod. Now that means you've only got one boss to get loot from, but we'll go over other loot opportunities in this wing after we analyze the quest. So for the armory, we don't get any unique quests other than the big quest for each faction, which requires you to kill four leaders of the Scarlet Crusade located in three different instances. Of course, Herod's one of them, and additionally, just as we pointed out in the graveyard and library, you could also complete Hearts of Zeal in here if you're Horde. The cathedral's the same way, it doesn't offer any unique quests, although the library is the one instance in here with the most quests for both factions, as well as a level 30 mage quest that rewards wand upgrades, so make sure to check out that video or forum post for the library in the description if you want to complete all the quests for the Scarlet Monastery. First up, we've got the Alliance. In the Name of the Light is a quest chain which begins from Brother Crowley in Stormwind at level 34 and requires you to travel to Desolus and speak with Brother Anton. You're going to need to travel to the south end of the zone to kill 30 undead Ravagers, return to Anton, and then report over to Rayleigh the Devout in South Shore to get the final quest for Scarlet Monastery. Now moving on to the Horde, just as we've stated previously, Hearts of Zeal is a quest chain so it can't be shared with others and it requires you to have first completed Going Going Guano and Razorfin Crawl before you can accept it from Apothecary Farinel in the Undercity. And lastly, Into the Scarlet Monastery can be picked up from Vera Mathras in the Undercity without any prerequisites. This is sweet for the Horde because this means you can share this quest or have it shared with you. Now check out those quest rewards, you're definitely going to want to go pick these quests up in order to get either a new weapon upgrade or an offhand item. Moving on to the main event in this dungeon, we're looking at Herod, a valiant warrior, a champion. Of course, he's only dropping male gear in the most sought after melee weapon at this level, the Ravager. Man, speaking of my three-man dungeon meta I'm wanting to create in Classic, this item may be a game changer for certain group compositions for dungeons at this level range. I can't wait to see this thing in action. Speaking of loot, remember in these higher level dungeons, mostly all the instances have a unique list of blue BOEs that have a less than 1% drop rate, and it just so happens that the four instances in Scarlet Monastery differ from each other. Check this out. This was the list for the library, and this was the list for the armory. We lost two items. Check. It was just some leather pants with a crazy amount of spirit on them and a pole arm. So, nothing to cry about. Although, because we have two less items on the list, that means we get two additional bonus items dropping from specific mobs in this dungeon exclusive to the armory. I guess Blizzard just wanted to balance the loot tables between dungeons, but this is pretty sweet. Only the Scarlet Protectors and Guardsmen can drop the Scarlet Wrist Guards, and the Scarlet Defenders and Myrmidons can drop the Scarlet Belt. Now this is worth running the dungeon over and over for. The Library and Graveyard, they only have the Scarlet Boots on their loot tables, just like the Armory and Cathedral, so you're actually missing out on additional Scarlet pieces by farming those two lower level dungeons for blues. Now on to my favorite part of this dungeon. After you kill Herod, you get stormed by like 20 Scarlet trainees who bust through the door and are just a few seconds late in defending their champion. It's super intimidating the first time it happens to you, and I almost shat my pants 14 years ago when it first happened to me. But little did I know, I was about to be blessed by the Scarlet Crusade gods and receive my very own tabard of the Scarlet Crusade from one of these guys Yo, this thing is dapper. Honestly, one of the best souvenirs from any dungeon because of the fact that it's a freaking tabard. Now, if you're not sporting your guild's colors, you should be rocking the red and white and mismatching all the way to 60 like everyone else, except you've got a little bit more swag. Man, people are going to be crying over this thing come classic because the tabard, get this, is actually a white item and doesn't get rolled on when it drops. The roll is basically hoping that you have the loot on the mob that drops the tabard. Although, if you want to get a little sneaky and you're the group lead, <laughs> go ahead and throw it on free for all right after Herod and loot the crap out of these corpses as soon as they die to increase your chances. I'm not responsible for any blacklisting that results because of this behavior. I'm telling you, man, people take these tabards seriously. You could really ruffle some feathers. All in all, the armory is super short and it can be spammed over and over if you're going after, say, Herod's Ravager or the Scarlet Male Leggings, two huge drops from this guy, 
Now, I want to take this time to point out that these drop rates probably aren't split 25% all the way around, and that goes for a lot of the loot and all these guides. A lot of this information in these forum posts and PowerPoints are just acting as placeholders and will be updated as soon as I can get my hands on some official juicy classic data. That's all I got for the Scarlet Monastery Armory. Check out the other SM guides and forum posts in the description. Drop a like, and I want to hear your favorite memory from the Scarlet Monastery Armory. We'll get around to the Cathedral memories in the next one. I'll see you guys in the next dungeon guide. It's your boy, Grace for Days. Outie!